got a question for the passport bandits. Why can't y'all do y'all passport thing in silence? Why do y'all have to announce it to the world? Y'all are worse than the preference dudes that have to announce their preference and then there's dislike for their non-preference. Like, y'all the same people. Don't nobody care about um, y'all getting passports, y'all wanting passports, y'all wanting to go over to the Dominican Republic to do the little things that y'all do or whatever part of the world you want to go to. Don't nobody care. You don't have to announce it. Get your passport and go. You don't have to tell us we don't care. You don't have to make us feel threatened that we're going to lose you. We don't care. Same way with the preference people. We don't care. Why we got to move in silence so you can feel better or whatnot? Why do we have to do that? Why do we have to be quiet about anything we're doing or whatnot? Why do you guys always got to smother, you know, smother us? You know, why do you got to look over our shoulder and, and direct our movements and our actions and whatnot in every possible way and shit why you know why is it upsetting to you that uh, people are making videos talking about uh traveling why does that upset you why do we have to be quiet you know you know why did why do you know how that looks it's a bad look on you all of you okay it's a bad motherfucking look on all of you okay now, I don't put the curse in it. You know, I just curse right now and shit. You know, I got to keep up that whole, I'll never get monetized on this platform thing and shit. I'll, I'll never get monetized and shit, you know, because I'm I'm real. You know, I'm raw. And I'm just telling you, you know, it's offensive or whatnot. I get tired of it. Sometimes I wish some of you was dudes and whatnot. We'll just lump it up and whatnot. We'll lump it up big time. And I know there's a legion of people out there that feel the same way I do when they hear these uh, videos that you post or whatnot. What do you mean? What do you mean we we need to be quiet? You know about what we're doing and shit and how we're moving or whatnot. When you guys broadcast your preference all over the place and you attack us every goddamn day and nothing ever changes, you attack us every goddamn day. That I open my eyes. That the Lord, the Most High, lets me open my eyes another day. I open my eyes to hear. You know, the other half of our ethnic, you know, group here in the colonies, you know, run in their mouth, acting out of pocket. You're going to just deal with it, okay? You're going to hear what we're talking about because you're nosy and because you can't keep your monkey ass out of our personal spaces. These are men's spaces. If you don't see no bitches there, that means there's men. It's a man's space, okay, that you're not supposed to be there. But we know that you guys cannot get that you know, get that little quirk out of your, your, you know, psychological profile and shit. You gotta do, you know, you gotta do Zaddy's, you know, bidding and shit, okay? You gotta do their bidding and shit and, and come over, make sure we ain't escaping the plantation or whatnot. You want us to stay here for nothing or whatnot. It's just like the current political party that's in power right now. They want us to reward them for doing nothing, okay? You see the parallel here? Do you see how you guys have degraded our ethnic group and that we're tired of it? We want to find something different. Just like you guys were just running off at the mouth about your preference. Okay, your goddamn preference and your opinion of us, unsolicited as it is and whatnot. And I'm just tired of it and whatnot. And you can do whatever the fuck you want to do and shit, but I must impress upon you that there are more women on the planet than men, okay? There are more women on the planet than men. That means that if a guy is enterprising enough and is willing to take a chance, a leap of faith or whatnot, there's a possibility he will find the right woman to make a family with, to build a family with. And even if he doesn't, he'll find the right woman to finally have some guilt-free sex, okay? Something where he don't feel dirty afterwards, like he just paid a prostitute and shit. You know, you know he'll, he'll cry tears of joy as he recalls after sleeping with his form, he'll think about the first time that he was ever with the woman in the colonies over here in the United States of America, 3Ks and said, he'll think about that time and he'll realize that he was a babe in the woods and that the woman herself was infinitely more uh, experienced than him, you know, 
even if she didn't have a high body count, she was infinitely more experienced and prepared for that encounter than him and he'll shudder and he'll wonder what it would have been like if his first time was with this foreign woman and shit. Would they have just had a, a long-term decent relationship, built us a standard nuclear family and, and, you know, did what they had to do, you know? You know, shored up the community to make our community strong, have responsibility to each other, not have this slave mentality that keeps us apart, you know? That makes us distrust each other on sight, okay? That's your legacy and whatnot. The first teacher of the child is the mother and whatnot. If you have some complaints about what men are doing as a collective whatnot, you need to look in the mirror, okay? And even you dumb broads that don't have no kids or anything and whatnot, you need to look in the mirror at yourself and say, well, why do I feel this way and whatnot? Why do I care if the man's leaving, you know, the country to do whatever, to have sex or, you know, travel abroad and, you know, Perhaps find a wife, you know, make make something of himself to discover who he is, you know, free of a, a society that is continually blowing that glass ceiling, you know, every goddamn day, like some kind of death trap. You know, we're not gonna move in silence, okay? And you're you're just gonna, you all of you are just gonna have to deal with it, okay? You're gonna stick your fat nose in the door, you're gonna see what we're doing and you can't stop it and it's gonna upset you and then we're gonna see you looking, we're gonna walk over there and we're gonna just pull that door up and cut your goddamn nose off. Mind your own business. <laughs> <laughs> this message has been paid for by the Dusties. Yes, the niggas you love to hate.